Hey guys, I made another instant tea flip flop, and this is actually 15 blocks smaller than my last one. So my last one was 105 blocks, and this one is 90 blocks. Uh, so yeah, it's compacted down by quite a bit. And yeah, it uses the same method as last time, and I was able to uh, to do some fancy tricks over here. Uh, I'll show you that uh, later, but yeah. Uh, to prove that it's instant, I'm going to place a bunch of repeaters here. And when I press the button, we can see that they all turn on at the, the same time. And if I turn it off, okay, you didn't quite catch that. Um, so there's on and there's off. So yeah, it's instant. And now let's um, let me explain how to how it actually works. So we have this little device here, and this will uh, bud this piston. So. Uh, when we press the button, this redstone dust over here will update this piston and it would cause it to instantly turn off. And then this repeater powers it back and on the falling edge it would extend again. The dust updates it and then this thing turns off again. So it's budded and yeah, um, this has a torch over here. And it sends power to this uh, T flip flop over here. But the thing about this is that it's actually instant to react, but only on the falling edge. If you have a normal button attached to it and it's not a torch or anything, uh, it wouldn't be instant because you'd have to wait for the input to turn off before it actually acts. But when it does act, it's completely instant. It uh, it starts doing the piston movement immediately. And we take the output from this end over here. And uh, the output would turn off instantly because retraction is instant. But when it's turning on, uh, that's when it has to extend. Um, that's not instant. So in order to buy time for the dust to turn on, I mean for the piston to extend, uh, we have to have an instant falling edge monostable over here. So this would make up for the time by sending out a pulse and uh, that's why when it's turning on you can see that the piston will pulse like that. Uh, if we didn't have it, like let me just get rid of that dust, then we would see that the turning on isn't instant. So there's that gap there, and that's why this is needed. And now that we know how it works, let's get on to how to build this thing. So you first want to uh, figure out where you want the input to be. So I'll just have the input over here. And then you want to place a block here and a block here. And then you want a piston here. And you're going to place the repeater set to free and an upside down half slab right there. And now we're going to make the instant falling edge T flip flop. And it's going to be two blocks like that with dust on top and torches on the side. And the pistons uh, have to be sticky pistons because that's, that's how it's instant. If you use normal pistons, it would push instead of retract. Uh, yeah, and now you want to take the output from this end, place a torch underneath it, and I do not want to break it, so I'll just replace it again. So place a torch there, and some dust over here. Be sure to cut the wire there. Now you want to go down by one block 
and place a piston right here. A torch there. And this is actually what stops uh, the monostable from acting on the rising edge. Okay, then you want to have a torch here to power that piston. And you are done. No, wait, you're not done. Uh, you want to place a block here and a torch there. And this is actually um, this is actually the only real way we can place this torch because if we place it like this, it would power this piston. So, yep. Now that we've done that, we can test it out. And everything is working. So, yeah, that was it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.